Before the video begins, I'd like to give a shout out to Jacob and Adam's mom from 229V. If you guys want to see more videos like this, please show your support by subscribing and I'll do my best to upload more quality VEX content. Okay, I think we gotta change what we give because I think then we're gonna be like, oh, they're just copying each other. Well, I didn't do it. I didn't do the same thing as you last That's time. true. Plus tier. Oh, that's true. Next up, we have a another insane robot. So at the looks of this, this might go on to win worlds. I see a lot of things I like right here. We have this vision sensor here, you know, definitely looking into, you know, auto tracking those rings to score them. So then an AI plays the match for you. You can just hop on your phone, hop on TikTok, make your TikTok while you're winning worlds. Like the drivetrain configuration here, it's like a race car, right? You have those uh, larger back wheels and smaller front wheels, just reaching top speeds of 300 miles per hour and, you know, 0 to 60 in 3 seconds. Really impressive build here. I'd have to give this an S plus tier. Yeah, I mean, one other thing is I haven't seen really many teams going for that high stake, but you can see here they have a flywheel mechanism that will just launch the ring up there. And I can't wait to see how consistent that will be. It may also, depending on how fast you run the flywheel, be able to efficiently score on the wall stakes. And it seems like it can hold both uh, both rings, so it can just spit them out rapid fire. And that will be a lot more efficient than other designs we've been seeing. Possibly being able to score on the wall stakes in auto, which will be amazing for getting that lead in auto. Um, I would have to give this an, um, an S tier. I don't see anything... Uh, I haven't seen anything better thus far, but... You know, one thing I haven't mentioned to you is this also has the capability of that partner climb. They can assist their partner going on those treads and putting the partner up to a up to a tier 2 climb. So that's why I gave it an S plus tier. Okay. Would you like to change your... Double plus tier. S double plus tier? Yeah, that changed your tier real soon. Insane design. And next up, we have... A team from China, it seems like. And... This is a little weird. It seems like they have maybe bought the wrong supplies. They might have bought their supplies from Timu or AliExpress here. The goals of this season are supposed to be green, but they have red goals. And the rings are supposed to be red or blue, and they have purple rings. So this is really weird. But I do like how fast their intake is running on these fake rings and this goal. So I have to give this an A tier. I haven't really seen uh, such good like intake speed and compression. I mean, you see, I mean, it misses one, but then it goes on and scores uh, the other ones and flips the section. Well, they missed three. Four. They missed four. Uh, and there we go. Those two. So just a little bit more tuning with consistency. However, if you look on the left picture, you'll um, notice that their bot actually seems to be illegal because it is above the, I think it's 24 inches or something, uh, being above the second tier while only being a, a first year is illegal. So this might have been built, again, before the game manual come, came out. Uh, but, yeah, I can't wait to see how this... Oh, wait, through. yeah, since it's illegal, I might have to lower this to an F tier. Well, I I think, I mean, based on how their build quality is before the game manual, I would suspect that they came out with an even better design already. So I'm, I'm going to go with an S tier. Okay. F and S. Yeah, Next up, we have 1082M. And the robot looks... looks. What do you think, Liam? How do you feel the robot looks? Because you are their sister team. They are they're in your lab. Yeah, so... Um, their bot is the worst in the world. So that's, I'm going to have to give it an F tier. The worst in the world? Yeah. That's a um, strong statement. The only thing I really see is just this, this standoff here is kind of bent. What's really bent? No. It's not bent? No, 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 it is. It is bent. Actually, no, it's not bent. Everything else is bent, so it looks like that's bent. Oh! The entire rest of their bot's completely bent. Oh, wait, okay, that makes a lot more sense now. Okay, I understand what you're what you're saying now. And they have pulleys. And they have, oh, that's automatic F tier for me. And their brain is going to get destroyed by our, um, <laughs> our your, poker mech. Your poker mech. You will have a knife on the robot, and you will poke their brain out. This will go straight into the brain. It will tear off their, their motor while we, when we rub on the side of them. And also they overclock all their motors. They overclock them, just like China? Yeah, just like China. Alright guys, remember, RT1 chip. Yeah. If you see 1082M, tell the rest they're overclocking their motors. 
Next up, we have uh, a update from 99319B, and it looks like, yeah, they're bought, we were correct. I mean, they were cooking up pretty hard here, and, you know, I think I originally gave this a B tier. I like to raise it up to an A tier. I like wh where this is going, and it's still looking very clean. What do you think, Liam? Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm a little bit confused on the point of the C channels running across. Maybe they have some wall staying back, or maybe that's just to keep the rings from falling out. I, know I totally think they're working on a wall stick mech here. I definitely think this is going to be a redirect. Yeah, but aren't they running two motor intake? So I maybe they figured out a way to do it fully pneumatically, like mm -hmm. eight 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 nine B, as opposed to in B cat their skills run. They had a completely uh, pneumatic. Yeah, I like this robot. Next up, we have a robot from Niche or, or Grus, uh, 2602B. And first thing I see is, I see, the, I mean, I, see, I like this this uh, back clamp here that's poking out with the poly on it. I do, yeah, I definitely think it's an overextension lock. So, that, I mean, that's the first thing I see. I always think it looks very cool, you know, the, the standoffs and all the, all the, no small details on that. Uh, I mean, it does. Obviously, it doesn't look like it's finished, but um, I would maybe they're doing a hook, and I don't. Do they have any motors mounted? I no, think so. I think I think this will be a hook though. And the thing is, I mean, there's a five wide in the middle. I have nothing really against five wides, but I do think they can really change this into a three wide. I do like the motor caps though; those are always cool. Yeah. And one thing I notice is their 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 Odom wheel is it's 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 angled; it's tilted. Wait, where? Their Odom wheel it's tilted; it's at a forty-five degree angle sideways. It's not like. <laughs> oh. So that's how you get both Odom wheels with only having. That might be tech. This might be crazy tech that they have just figured out. Maybe. Yeah, I'm definitely wanting to know more about that. Could you, maybe they can talk a little bit about that in the in the thread down below. But yeah, I'd have to give this a a tier. I like that, I like that. I like the ingenuity on that. Uh, so, I mean, considering how it's not done, I like everything built so far. But I'm gonna give it a B tier just because it's not completely done. Mm-hmm. Next, we have a video from Antopod 8062B, and the first thing I see is uh, they have a weird goal. I, I think they might have built this themselves. What do you think? Yeah, uh, we did something similar right after Worlds. We, we used our, I forget what we used, but uh, we made our own little uh, cap for the, the goals. So yeah, this is really nice. I, I have to give this goal, this is like an A tier goal. Like, I don't know, you know, it. I would have to give the, like the regular goal a B, like a B, but this goal has its personality. It's got some per pink duct tape on it. You know, I like the color scheme a lot. It's got it's very. You know, look at the pastel color scheme, uh, theme on the bottom. You know, and then a black uh, stick. Absolutely. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about the robot now. Yeah. Can't really see that much from that view. Uh, the. The battery placement, excellent battery placement. I would highly suggest any team at uh, SIGs or Worlds that is playing against us to copy this battery placement immediately. Immediately. Yeah. Unless you're playing with us. Yeah. If you're against us in any matches, you will win against us by placing your battery in front of the intake. You don't even actually just leave it on the floor, right? Then you really are showing your confidence and dominance against us. Absolutely. Yeah, overall. They did the same thing. Yeah, we'll beat them easily, and then they just left their battery on the floor, and then you went on to win semis, correct? Yeah, we went on to win the entire uh, states event. Oh, okay. Yeah, state champion. I guess I missed that. But. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you. I think you might have fallen asleep there with all the, or maybe all the all the screaming there might have just uh, sent you out into a coma. Yeah. <laughs> Knocked you unconscious with the with the shock wave. Good. Good. All right, I have to give their goal a A tier and their robot a C tier. We give their their goal an S tier, and I mean functionality wise, 
I think their robot works completely fine. So I would, I'd give it a, a B plus tier. Next up, we have a robot from Baker, and this robot is going to be their rebuild for their next signature events and worlds. Yeah, so something you immediately notice is a lot of people might think this is a robot, but I suspect this could be a drive box team member. Due to the safety glasses in the front, those are mandatory while you're in the drive box uh, for the field, and so they are completely legal to be a drive box member. And being a Vex robot themselves, they have the intel on what uh, weaknesses other robots have because they can actually converse with them. Wait, yeah, you are you are totally uh, on point with that. The more I look at this, the more I think this is going to be their third drive box member. Uh, I mean, they have a hammer, they have some some scissors there. It's totally ready to take care of any issues that might pop up on the robot. Absolutely. Like, well, at Worlds, we had, um, uh, just, we brought, like, basically our top box everywhere we went, just so that way, if anything went wrong, we had something to fix it. But this, I mean, it's a completely assembled robot, so if you need screws, you can just take them. If you need a tipping point ring, right there. Hammer, right there. Big chain, right there. Um, one, uh, or two, one me mechanism wheel, right there and it's just everything you will ever need is just walking around with you yeah i mean robot wise i have to give this an f tier but but you know drive team member wise this is an s tier well i mean yeah i think this is probably a retired robot so they're it might not function as well but they're because they're a little bit older but they have they have knowledge they're very wise so knowledge wise they're definitely s triple plus tier but uh unfortunately they're out of their prime, so I'm going to have to give it an F tier for performance for this season. All right. Okay, we're not there. We're almost there. <laughs> Wait, how long is the recording? 33 so minutes. That's wild. Next up, we have a very good, like, this is a very interesting robot from Ethan9196. Next up, we have a very interesting looking robot from Ethan 91976A. And the first thing I really noticed is their gears on the outside, you know, really taking inspiration from uh, those teams from the China. Yeah, like Extropy. And they have these, you know, there's this traction drive. I like this. Yeah, something interesting I noticed. I haven't seen any teams do this, but they, they are doing the 1000 AMEC where they keep the the um, claw in front of your intake and then they clamp onto it but however instead of using a motor on that mechanism they opted for using pistons to lift it because it actually doesn't use force to push it down and instead uses the robot driving into the pole to actually get the ring on they're able to save a motor by doing that by i can't tell if they're running 77 watt or two motor but um either will be beneficial to them yeah i really really like their brain placement right in the middle between you know all the stuff and there's not really any way that this can really be damaged and the rings you know going above it is just so clean i mean the only the only thing i would say is if you get um if, if you place your preload onto the robot i would be cautious not to place it in front of the power button because then you can't access it if your robot were to disconnect because as it says in the rules you can't move or you can't like move anything out of your robot your power button has to be accessible from your, with your finger so i uh, make sure you're playing placing your match load somewhere where it couldn't possibly be um i mean that would just be up here anything. then that would just be like up in this yeah. top hook yeah yeah i'd give this robot an a plus tier i would give it an a plus minus tier okay and our final video, our final submission is from LogTM, and this is called the Segregation Mech. Yeah, as you can see, it segregates the rings. It will only put the, the red ring on. Um, I mean, it, Blue is really taking a big L here for the Blue team. I think they totally should fight back here. Uh, maybe, you know, start some protests, maybe, like, some start some riots and, you know, have a speech. Does that sound familiar? Like... Uh, have a protest and refuse to like. I think the blue rings should really refuse to give up their spots on you know buses and. Yeah. No, I, I don't think anything like that's happened, but I don't know. Yeah. Maybe in the future we can see some riots. Maybe world 
Mouse is the place. Anyways, I'd have to give this a S gradation tier out of the tier list. Uh, yeah, I'd have to give it just S tier. I mean, S S tier. S tier standing for what? Uh, segregation. <laughs> okay. <laughs>